loss of boost, frustrated, stick around. It could be as easy as this to fix it. All right, first and foremost, it is hot. It is so damn hot. Regardless, let's press on. Like the title suggests, my R56 uh, 2010 uh, Mini S off Turbo, obviously, lost boost uh, about a month ago. Been kind of driving me insane. Uh, no check engine lights, no codes, no hidden codes. So after some digging, I think I found the issue. And sure enough, that was the issue. And it was super simple. Uh, quick backstory, I had to change the thermostat on my Mini again, because they like to fail like it's its job. And I remember coming across something on a bulletin like a year ago that some guy by mistake doing a job very similar to mine pulled a vacuum line. Um, I never really thought anything of it until I it dawned on me that I had just done a thermostat and it coincidentally lost boost. So I started tracing back turbo lines and sure enough one of them had just come undone. Uh, it connects to the turbo up front. I'll show you in a second and goes back to the goes back kind of underneath the intake manifold and you can access it pretty simply underneath the car and i'll show you that in one second as well and from what i understand it just goes to your wastegate so mine was stuck in the open position and just dumping all my boost into the atmosphere so yeah i'm gonna show you the issue and then i'll show you what i did to fix it and some other things you can do if you do have boost and this is not your issue all right under the hood here there's actually two vacuum lines there's one right there coming out of the turbo and there's one up there uh, the other end of this guy that connects underneath the manifold, which I'll show you in one second, came undone. Uh, the second one right here that goes to the vacuum pump, I believe if you lose a vacuum with this guy too, that one also will cause your turbo not to function how it should. So long story short, yeah, the other end when I was putting the, uh, the thermostat in, which is right underneath here, I guess I pulled on one of the vacuum lines too hard, the damn thing came undone. It happens. So I'm going to crawl into the car and show you exactly where I had to reconnect it. All right, hopefully you can see this. My exhaust is super hot. I just got home and I only have this time to film. So, but see what those two red wires are right behind it on top of that's so the uh, wastegate. And that's where one of the little guys was came undone and it was looking right down at me, unplugged. I simply put it back in, boom, pressed it, my boost came back, that simple. So silly, it took five seconds to fix. So, and you can see the wires where they route up over there you can see that and they go up around to the front but yeah and then there's uh there's one wire that connects that to something else it's like something else that helps the waste skate i don't know exactly how these the turbos on these damn minis work they're kind of weird but um yeah just make sure all those little guys up there are connected look for any loose ones plug them back in and hopefully that'll solve your boost issue so yeah, that was my super simple boost issue. Uh, I'm not too familiar with these Mini Coopers. I've had it for almost a year. I fix a lot of the damn stuff on it. They break a lot. I'm more of a GM LS platform kind of guy if you watch my channel. But I thought I would share this with you in case this happened to you. Um, I did replace the hose or the vacuum lines, if you will. I go to the turbo, back to the wastegate. Uh, up front, it was getting kind of blue, blue and it seemed like it was losing integrity. So I decided just to change them. These are kind of like noodles now. The new ones were much more firm. So swap those out. This was like 50 bucks. Um, if that doesn't fix your issue and you're not throwing codes, good chance you just have a very small boost leak somewhere or your turbo's on the way out. For any kind of vacuum leaks or air leaks at all, I just use a cigar and just blow it into like your PCV valve or just find an inlet you can, an orifice you can just introduce smoke and you should be able to find your issue that way. Um, if you don't find an air leak at all, your turbo itself might be going bad. So look for any kind of weird grinding or scraping noise. That's a good indication that your turbo is about to shit itself. But yeah, or it could be a sensor as well. These cars are so fickle. But hopefully, hopefully this helps someone out there. It drove me insane. It was so stupid. Uh, these kind of fixes are cool, but they're also going to be a pain in the ass. So hopefully someone out there that helps. Um... I got an AFE exhaust and an AFE intake coming. I'm gonna slap on this bad boy. And uh, yeah, I'll do an open box and install for that for that as well for you guys before and after, maybe a POV. We'll see. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Quick, fun, little how-to help tip video. So I hope this helps someone. Uh, well, that's all I got for today, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Mark out.